which is the best city in India where the solar would work the best. Leh Ladakh uh-huh. is actually the best place in India. I have to pay a down payment. How is it zero? It's a catch. Whatever unit generation you told me from the solar panels and this that, if that doesn't happen, then what? You might have come across such advertisements on various social media platforms. Please note, all of these are fraudsters promising unbelievable returns through stock tips. I don't provide any calls or advisory services. I provide only educational content through my social media handles and through my website rachnaranade.com and rachnaranade.in. Hey folks, CA Rachna Ranade here and I welcome you all to a very very interesting discussion. After checking out the thumbnail, I'm sure you might be like, I want to know about this investment idea, which can give me amazing returns. So we are going to talk about that. But before we start with the discussion today, let me tell you a fun fact. Till 2019, I did not have an air conditioner at home and I never felt anything bad about it. I mean, I always used to feel that this AC is and all is that luxury. It's nowhere even close to a necessity. But this year, looking at the heat wave in India, I'm sure everyone has you know, come to a conclusion that at least for this year, AC has become a necessity rather than a luxury. But the moment we are, you know, installing more and more air conditioners, not only it is going to hurt our environment more. Why? Because more ACs is equal to more power consumption. And in India, coal-based power generation is definitely more. So that is going to hurt the environment, but very important, it is going to hurt my pocket. Why? Because when I get to see the electricity bill for the month of April and May, I'm going to be like, hey, Bhagwan, this is this is like double up of what I was paying as an average for the previous months, right? So today I thought, why not call an expert in this area who has a decadal experience of solar installations. Uh, he is a person who, ha- who, who through his company has fitted solar related panels and related products in more than 21 states. And with that, let me welcome Nikhil Nahar, who is the founder and director of Solar Square. Thank you. Thank you so much for the invitation. I think it's a burning subject and uh, it's going to be a pleasure talking with your audience. Absolutely. I mean, I shared my experience in Pune. How was your experience? You were born and brought up in Pune? Yeah, I also grew up as a kid in Pune. And I I do remember, uh, my childhood memories also. And as you said, the weather used to be very pleasant. Pune used to be actually known for... The weather, yeah, and I would always remember that it would it would be like reliable mm-hmm. because it will be moving like a ticking of a clock. True. On seventh of June, I remember it is the onset of monsoon, and my schools would open. Absolutely. And I would always remember that pehle barish ki jo mitti ki, mm, Baba. <laughs> that is something that I would always cherish. Yeah. Right. Uh, in summers also, it was very hot. Yeah. But it was still bearable. We used to go out play cricket even Absolutely. during the afternoon hours. True. But it was still okay. Uh, even winters, mein, we, we used to go on the rooftop, we used to like experience the night yeah. uh, under the stars with a cold breeze yeah. and it was all okay. Uh, it was a gulabi thand of Pune that we always <laughs> used to Absolutely. love, yeah. right? Uh, but yeah, uh, those days, the weather used to be much, much predictable. It was comforting also and mm-hmm. we always cherished every season Absolutely. and as, as, a, as a child, I always cherish those memories as nature's simple gifts Mm. that were available to us. But you're seeing those climate changes and uh, the things have changed over period. You mentioned about the air conditioner. A simple tip also for the users, by the way, Uh if you keep your air conditioner at 26 degrees instead of 18 degrees, you can save, if your consumption is 6 to 7 hours a day, you can save 1000 rupees per month. That's kal a se, tip. Kal se AC apna office ka will stay at 26 and not at 18. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, 26 degrees is also good for your body's okay. uh, human body. Uh, and it takes equal amount of time uh, to actually cool your room down to 26 degrees that it would take for 18 degrees. Oh, really? Right? So, Achha. saving should be there and it will be possible with uh, the air conditioner. Fantastic. Wow, you gave some tips about power saving for individuals. But I as an individual, I did face this problem about changing environment, climatic conditions. You as an entrepreneur, also I'm sure you did identify a problem about this whole situation. Uh, You did come up with some idea. And then the big part was about executing the idea. Because I feel that a lot of people have loads of ideas in their minds. But executing that very seamlessly is a big challenge in itself. Uh, To be honest, it's not a seamless execution for any person. There are certain hurdles. Would want to hear from you, what was that problem statement that you identified uh, before you took the decision of starting this company? And how did you 
translate your dream into reality right the climate change was becoming very very real mm. and it was not only like knocking your door it mm. was actually entering your doorstep mm. it has already entered our life and it has adversely impacted us that was one opportunity that we always felt that we should solve mm. and we started solar square back in 2015 with this intention that we'll go back to the commercial industrial segments mm -hmm. which have the higher carbon emissions and we start reducing their carbon emissions okay. so we launched solar square as a bootstrap company neeraj and i started the company mm -hmm. uh, we scaled from a, a very small town of uh, madurai mm -hmm. to uh, now 21 states and how many cities are counting <laughs> every day we are adding new cities uh, we are growing and uh, commercial industrial segment was our bread and butter until 2019-20. Okay. Uh, then Shreya joined us as the uh, CEO for uh, residential and we grew from that B2B segment into the B2C segment. Wow. Retail segment was started in 2019-20. Uh, we got funded also and now fortunately we are growing and we are expanding our operations across the nooks and corners of India. Yeah, that's the journey. It was not only with the purpose of minting money, but it was also with the purpose that we should take at least one step towards protecting our environment, towards protecting nature and to shift to more of renewable energy sources rather than non-renewable energy sources, right? Right. So, yes, Solar Square is not only for profit, it is for the cause. Mm. And uh, we, we take pride that uh, we are taking those steps for India, yeah. for the planet now. Yeah. And that's the motivation that keeps us awake, awake every day. Fantastic, fantastic. So this is at your level, right? What is your thought process? But now let me shift gears and come to me as an individual. I have a lot of questions in my mind when it comes to solar installation. So first things first, I feel that, okay, they're my viewers, they might, some of them might be living in their own bungalows. Some of them might be living in apartments. So if I were to understand whether solar can be installed or not, so I have certain questions. So first and foremost, if I am living in an apartment, is it possible to install a solar panel uh, in, in the terrace or something like right. that. Yes. So, individual homeowner, mm -hmm. yes, your household, you can definitely install the solar on top of your rooftop mm -hmm. and your bungalow can get solarized. Okay. You can save every month with that electricity. Up to 90% of electricity savings can happen uh, with the solar. Okay. And you can also become a climate hero, mm -hmm. right? Uh, because you will be contributing to the climate reversal, yes. the change reversal. Yeah. Uh, secondly, if you are living in an apartment, mm -hmm. uh, typically uh, the common area bills, those can get catered through uh, residential welfare associations, also get the subsidy like the individual homeowners and that can actually start reducing your maintenance bills. Mm -hmm. As long as you have NOC to use your rooftop space from rest of the apartment owners, then you can also install okay. solar on your apartment's rooftop. That's Got possible. It. But then uh, you also mentioned about installing it in a bungalow, right? If my bungalow is surrounded by apartments which are like uh, sky rise apartments and if they are casting a shadow on my bungalow terrace still would it, would it be possible to fit a solar panel right so typically uh, we need to undertake a technical feasibility okay. before even okay. taking a decision to install solar mm -hmm. we take uh, three things from our customers one is uh, we check your electricity bill okay we check what is the shadow free rooftop area which is available on your mm -hmm. terrace mm -hmm. and third what is the possibility as per the policy what is okay. the sanction load that will permit you uh, the capacity of solar that can be installed on your rooftop? Okay. These three things are the checkpoints and basis this, we will give you a recommendation to maximize your savings and reduce your consumption of electricity from the grid. Got it. So, just practically, if one of my viewer wants to install uh, the solar on their own terraces, first step is they can approach you and ask for the study, right? That whether it is possible or not and then the whole thing starts about installation, this, that. So, you have any specific way through which people can connect with you and ask or request for such a home visit? Right. Is it available? Uh, our, our viewers can definitely visit our website www.solarsquare.in, register themselves as the potential uh, solar user or you can also call us on 983000-3000 and uh, register an appointment. Our solar experts, mm -hmm. after booking an appointment, they will visit you. Okay. They will guide you through the thorough process end to end, okay. how to take you solar. So okay. they'll study all the things which I mentioned a while okay. back and then they'll give you all the packages which are available, what is the recommended options sure. and then installations and uh, commissioning is also taken through by Solar Square. Fantastic. So they will definitely understand about the shadows, this, that, understood. But uh, what about some extreme climatic conditions like very heavy rainfall? Will that impact uh, the solar panels, number one? And number two, I can correlate it with what happened in Mumbai uh, just Recently. I think two weeks ago. There was a huge sandstorm and we also experienced uh, a little maybe a milder version of that in Pune. 
uh, where you know the wind was blowing like anything and we did see a lot of things getting swung in the air you know falling off the roofs and this that will also such events uh, impact the electricity generation through solar right uh, these kinds of events are catastrophic events mm -hmm. it can actually make your investment binary 1 to 0 okay right uh, it was unfortunate mumbai saw the sandstorm and uh, we witnessed, we saw that video also, mm. uh, where the big billboard was like yeah, falling down. Yeah. It resulted into like some lives were taken, a lot of injuries happened, mm. lots of assets were damaged. Mm. And uh, that's where I think the mechanical integrity of your know, solar also matters because Correct. we're correlating with such kinds of sandstorms. Mm. The events have become even more frequent now. Uh, earlier, the sandstorms or cyclones used to be like once in a while events. Mm. But now every second year, we start seeing these kinds of events happen. Correct. And hence, having a very stable structure is important. Mm. We mm. typically see that the market has non-engineered solutions, which mm. which uh, which uses uh, some of the hardware components. They will just bring it at your rooftop. They'll cut it, weld it, install it. These are completely non-engineered solutions. Mm. Uh, not, not even studied from the angle of uh, whether they'll sustain the cyclones or not. Mm -hmm. uh, what we did, we exactly solved this problem. They okay. used to have the welded solutions. Mm. Solar Square came up with intelligent wind pro mount solutions. Oh. The wind pro mount solutions, these are IIT Bombay certified approved solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, we came up with a solution which is aerodynamically tapered design. You can just imagine Burj Khalifa. Okay. It's a tapered design. Yeah, yeah. So something similar, our structures are intelligent, they are aerodynamically designed. Okay. Uh, these structures are made in factory. It's mm. prefabricated. We do not do any welding at site. Okay. These are simply assembled at site uh, with nut bolts. Okay. So uh, we also have uh, German chemical Hilti, which is used for waterproofing. Okay. So your structures are safe. We also give the waterproof guarantees to our oh, uh, customers. So okay. those are uh, the typical differences. It, it also uses a Japanese pokayoke technique. Mm -hmm. Pokayoke means that uh, uh, it will be lock in lock. Uh, okay. You won't be able to tamper uh, with the system. Mm -hmm. It will be like foolproof. Okay. And uh, ultimately, uh, our structures are also warranted for a much, much longer duration. Got they it. are rust proof, corrosion proof and uh, no need to worry about uh, the safety. 70 of our installations in Mumbai in this sandstorm, Correct. they stood tall and strong. Very no, nice. no damages happened. So that, that speaks a volume about whenever you are actually choosing your installer, please, please see to it that your structures are safe. Correct. Fantastic. So, uh, coming back to the same point again, I totally understood the fact that the structure will not be damaged because you have taken care uh, to ensure that these are not damaged and you have mentioned about some Japanese techniques and this that. But will the electricity generation per se get impacted in such uh, weather conditions? I mean, during rainy season, will the electricity generation be less as compared to other something like right. summer season? Right? If most of the customers have this misconception that uh, during rainy seasons, I won't see the generation from my solar system. That's mm. a myth. Rainy okay. seasons, uh, we won't have the uh, sunlight fully down. Correct. There will be some sunny hours, mm -hmm. right? So that is what is needed for uh, the generation of solar. And uh, we see that typically in Indian circumstances, uh, the 50% of the predicted solar generation will still happen during the rainy season. Oh, okay. Let me ask you one question. Okay. According to you, which is, the, which is the best city in India where the solar would work the best? Will, will work the best. So it should be some city in Rajasthan or if it's Maharashtra, I can think of Nagpur. Most people have this, uh, this concept, misconception, I would say that uh, solar would work the best in hottest cities of India, Correct. but that's a myth. Really? Solar works the best in the coldest weather. Temperature is bad for solar panels. Huh. The irradiation is good. These are two different things. Irradiation is the solar light. Okay. And temperature is the hot nature of uh, the temperature will, will actually uh, not, not uh, temperature will, uh, will be bad for solar panels. Oh. So what happens is that uh, Leh Ladakh uh -huh. is actually the best place in India. Ah, for instance, I'm sure is, none of my viewers also guessed this, right? <laughs> right. Irradiation is the best. Ah. It's pollution free. The solar irradiation reaches the solar panel surface very, very nicely. Okay. And uh, temperature is low. So, solar system is ought to generate more in Leh Ladakh. Kya baat hai. So, it has also got something to do with the pollution levels according to yeah, you. Yeah, there are, there are some small impacts of pollution of course. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, that impacts slightly. Got on it, the outcome. got it. Fantastic. 
चलो सो विथ वट एवर क्वेश्चन आई आस्ट राइट नाउ एटलीस्ट आई एम नाउ श्योर ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट ये बी इट अ बंग्लो बी इट एन अपार्टमेंट बी इट रेनी विंडी वट एवर इज द वेदर सोलर इंस्टॉलेशन इज पॉसिबल अग्रीड uh before i move on to the financial part of it i also wanted to ask one more thing because my viewers would be seeing this uh just around the may end so if they feel that uh the installation could it be done during the rains uh, does rain hamper the installation process or it has got nothing to do with that no it doesn't hamper solar square has uh, devised a special civil structural mechanisms wherein even during rains barring the very very uh, strong rainfall days but we are able to install uh, the civil structures even during rainfall got it fantastic cool now vitamin m vitamin m is <laughs> <laughs> very important uh, so if we talk about the monetary angle first things first i wanted to ask that if uh, we are a family of let's say five people okay and if we were to fit a solar panel for our home how much would be my typical saving Uh, I have a lot of questions. Wait, I'll, I'll ask three, four together. Okay, how much would be my typical saving? Uh, before that, how much will be like uh, a capex, capital expenditure, a one-time uh, money spending, which would be required from my end? And within how much time will I get my money back? So, just as an example, if like uh, I have to spend, let's say, five lakh rupees or whatever, in how much time will I recover my money? Okay. So, let me just clarify that uh, your how many members are in your family that shouldn't dictate. Uh, what's the solar project size okay it typically is a function of what's your annual consumption of electricity bill hmm. so we study your monthly bill and then we'll recommend okay. so typically if you have 300 to 350 units consumption in a monthly average basis hmm. then we recommend you 3 to 3 and a half kilowatt system depending on which location you are in got it let's say 3 kilowatt system is the ideal system size that comes as per your location got it 3 kilowatt system should typically offset 4000 to 4200 units for you in a year okay right? uh For now in Maharashtra, the rates have gone up. By the way, from first yeah. April 2024, the electricity rates have gone by 10% in fixed cost. I think 7 to 8% in the variable cost altogether. Ooh. So what used to be at 12, 11 and 11.8 rupees, 12 rupees tariff, it has gone up to 12.8, 13 rupees tariff now. Mm. So uh, obviously your returns will be better now. Yeah. With solar, yeah. uh, typical investment for a three kilowatt system it starts typically at two lakh ten thousand rupees, uh, and it goes up depending on the packages that you typically choose. Okay. And you get subsidy although from government. Uh, sorry to cut you, but you said it starts at two lakh ten thousand, right? Uh, what could be an average cost? Because two lakh ten thousand will be the minimum, is what you are talking about. Right. What would be the average? A three kilowatt system would typically, based on the most customers that buy from us, huh? they choose two lakh twenty five thousand rupee package with okay. maintenance included in it. Oh, right? okay. Uh, okay. So uh, you also get subsidy from the government. So okay. there is a good subsidy from PM Surya Ghar scheme, which is recently launched by Prime Minister Modi. Okay. Uh, under this scheme, uh, the customers would get seventy eight thousand rupee subsidy. Uh, just like it used to be like uh, your lpg cylinders similarly your subsidy will get back in your account in directly to credited years. to my bank it's directly account. going to get credited to your account in how so many your, days uh, 30 to 45 days is the ideal day they are Fantastic. planning uh, so uh, most of our customers have uh, got in Got 45 it. days roughly uh, they are improving upon it the systems are getting better mm -hmm. uh, so let's let's assume that your net investment is around 150000 rupees correct right uh with solar 3 kilowatt system 4000 units generated you are going to save 13 rupees to be paid per unit to the grid mm -hmm. so 4000 into 13 let's say round off 50000 rupees is your net saving for the year Correct. into 3 years that is 150000 correct so 225000 minus 78 150000 mm -hmm. is your investment mm -hmm. 50000 savings every year correct that takes 3 years for you for to payback. recover your amount correct. Correct. so the irr is much much better we have seen that Uh, FDs are typically giving you seven and a half percent returns. Mm. The gold over last five to ten years, you see nine percent returns are what the gold has given. Correct. Uh, the mutual funds twelve to fifteen percent, depending on your risk portfolio. Mm. Mm. But rooftop solar twenty to forty percent. This is what depending on the rate mm. of your mm -hmm. specific state. So Maharashtra. But even if even if it is at the lower end, twenty percent is still not bad at all. Right? Yes. Yes. Kya so okay. Bangalore customers probably will see twenty to twenty five percent somewhere around that. Okay. Maharashtra customers will see uh, north of thirty percent. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Wow. So my points, I think you mentioned about four to five family members is not the criteria. criteria. It should be how much is the unit consumption. Uh, so let's say if just whatever he spoke, I'm just wrapping it up. Let's say your monthly bill is coming around four thousand rupees right now. So just to round it off again, four twelve fours are forty eight. We are rounding it off to fifty thousand is uh, the yearly bill, which will be waived off automatically if you have a solar, right? right. 
So within three years, you will have your payback period and after which uh, only whatever is the annual maintenance that will have to be paid. And how much would be the annual maintenance roughly? So typically solar square packages uh, five years maintenance. So you do not need to pay anything. Uh, during the uh, maintenance period for first five years, okay. everything is included. We call it power boost. Uh, it's a 360 degree care plan that Solar Square provides to you, and it includes one deep cleaning of your panels. Second, preventive maintenance. So even before something bad happens, our quality team will be checking your system. There'll be visits from our technicians and corrective maintenance. So if there is anything bad that has happened, you report it to us. Our team should come down. There will be spares, repairs, replacements, all those things will be taken care by our authorized technicians. Of course, on a monthly basis, you start getting reports also that mm. how is your saving profile now? Oh, wow. Okay. So, I think uh, first five years you mentioned no uh, repairs. Yeah, you have to choose that package. I plan, of course, yes, of course. Yes. But post that, a uh, rough idea about how much is the maintenance? So, typically the maintenance from sixth year onward, uh, uh. would you, you need to have the replacement of inverter. Uh, it's a one-time okay, okay, uh, replacement okay. cost. Every mm -hmm. five years, you have to spell uh, around uh, uh, fifty to twenty thousand rupees, depending on the type of system that you have taken. Got it. And uh, uh, yeah, for the cleaning, typically two to three thousand rupees is the annual expenditure that you do. It's like that's, nothing. that's nothing. Absolutely. Uh, what I have heard is there is uh, a minimum bill which every state government electricity MSCDC, for example, in Maharashtra, yes. minimum bill will be charged. Does that also get waived off if I have a solar system? Unfortunately, fixed bill will always stay. Okay. Right? okay. Uh, unless you uh, install slightly more solar okay. and you get some offset, but the offset amount is very small. It's minuscule. Uh, they okay. call it APPC rate, which, which is a very minimal rate, two and a half, three rupees, that's it. Got so, it. compensation that you would get for any additional energy that you produce mm -hmm. under net metering scheme, if you export that additional power mm -hmm. to MSA DCL for every unit you will get much much smaller amount. So you pay at 13 rupees but they will pay back at two and a half three rupees only. Okay <laughs> got it but then uh, again because you mentioned one term net metering right yeah. now uh, <clears throat> what I could visualize with that is uh, assume that uh, I consumed only 4000 units but I my, my solar was able to generate 5000 units. Right. What about those 1000 units is that right something is that got to do with net metering or correct okay. uh, so I'll, I'll tell you uh, on a simple uh, terms on a monthly bill basis right? okay let's say your monthly consumption is 300 units uh -huh. so there are three cases okay. case one 300 units consumption where your solar is producing 300 units correct so everything is going to be offset uh -huh. your monthly bill at the end of the month is only going to be fixed bill exactly right? only low cost bill which will come which anyways is always going to stay uh -huh. Second case, let's say your consumption is still 300 units, mm -hmm. but you are only able to produce, let's say, 250 units of power from solar. Got it. Right. So, 50 units deficit will be there. Mm. That is the deficit you will draw from the grid and okay. you will pay for those 50 units to the grid. Mm. So, in rainy months when the Correct. generation is going to go down, Correct. you will still pay a slight bit of amount to the grid. Okay. And let's say 300 units you have consumed, but mm. solar has produced in a summer good month 350 units. Mm. So, you have excess 50 units. Okay. That will get your credit so oh. it is like a import export getting tracked you can just imagine it uh, as if it's a bank account you have a credit and debit that is happening Correct. every month Correct. and at the end of the month you'll get the total bill offset of import export so for example in the month of in the summer months let us say let's say april may and a part of june also these days let's say i'm able to generate more than what i consumed so that will be like an excess that i have right. in let us say during the rainy seasons uh, i was able to uh, consume more but produce less than whatever excess I have, they'll get set off. Right. But let's say at the end of March, I still have some excess units left. What happens with that? As I told you, that gets settled at a small rate. At a AP really AP rate. AP okay. AP okay. In some states, uh, they do it on a monthly cycle basis. In some oh. states, it's an annual cycle. Okay. So it depends on the states again. Got it. Got it. Okay. I had heard also something like, like you mentioned one technical term, net metering. I had uh, something uh, in my mind which is like off grid and on I read it somewhere. What Correct. what is that? If you can so there are three types of systems, uh, basically on grid system, off grid system, and hybrid systems. On grid systems they do not couple with battery. You don't need battery. Okay. You directly couple it with the grid. Okay. And you get power from solar and grid together mm -hmm. seamlessly. You don't understand which power is coming from solar. Okay. Uh, although you can measure both the power separately. Got so that is called as on-grid system, doesn't need uh, battery. Mm -hmm. And typically urban areas where the power cuts are low, mm -hmm. those are area, those are the areas where on-grid systems are installed. Okay. Off-grid system is the one where you do not have any grid supply. Mm. So you need to have battery 
and solar Got they right. work together in tandem mm -hmm. and then you can utilize solar energy to drive your equipment up mm -hmm. especially you can Im imagine remote areas jahan mm -hmm. pe discom supplies there are not there correct so that is where the off grid systems are installed and there is third type mm -hmm. which is called as hybrid correct it is between on and off grid Mm -hmm. uh, where there are uh, major power cuts okay. for example let's say your farmhouse mm -hmm. you have a grid supply but there are major power cuts so you can have a both grid as well as battery mm -hmm. and you can drive your off grid system okay. with solar so to be really honest whatever you have been telling me for the past whatever 15 20 minutes i'm totally convinced on uh, you know installing a solar system or solar rooftop system at my place but i still have a question that whatever calculations you told me that uh, for 3 kilowatt system x number of units 50000 saving whatever unit generation you told me from the solar panels and this that if that doesn't happen then what you as a company do you guarantee that itna if this much units are not produced we will bear the risk. who bears the risk basically of shortfall in generation of units so solar square has a savings guarantee plan okay so zero loss zero risk zero hassle zero stress Yeah. I will say what is this zero 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 zero? <laughs> It's a good zero. We call yeah. it good zero. <laughs> It's good to have that zero. Yeah. So zero loss mm -hmm. means uh, any shortfall okay. in what our what our commitment is over a period period of five years will mm -hmm. be covered if you opt for this plan. Okay. Zero risk means we are committing you higher generation and will achieve that generation. Okay. Zero hassle means any procedural hassles in conducting the solar visits, spares, repairs, replacements. Everything is taken care by us. Okay. and zero uh, stress mm -hmm. that means if there are any spares replacements repairs in future that breakdown if it happens will also be taken care by our company for 5 uh, years one point you talked about stress but you talked about spares and this that i feel for me a bigger stress will be going to the government uh, i mean not the government per se but i should say the electricity board yeah. and asking the for permissions and approvals uh, so don't need to worry about that okay. it's end to end going to be taken care by Achha. us so in short let's say in year 1 we commit to you some units okay. but if there is a shortfall of let's say 250 units correct then you will get at the end of first year 250 into 8 rupees that is 2000 rupees compensation from solar square it's from solar square okay. we will compensate okay. we will take uh, the underwriting of your risk mm -hmm. second to fourth uh, second to fifth year for next four years if there is a shortfall of committed units mm -hmm. then as a as a together four years commitment if there is any shortfall let's say mm -hmm. 500 units are shortfall mm -hmm. then 500 into 8 4000 rupees will be compensated to you at okay. the end of fifth year and this complete feasibility of what units to be committed mm -hmm. will be taken care during our initial visit kya baat hai okay uh okay all zeros understood but for me an outflow is not going to be zero uh, i will have to spend some money unfortunately fortunately aisa nahi hai ha. fortunately yes your outflow <laughs> will be zero How is that so? We have a savings guarantee के ऊपर एक zip that is zero investment plan. Okay. Now what is this zero investment plan? You just have to pay down payment and it's zero investment for you. But if I, I if I have to pay a down payment, how is it zero? So there is a catch. Hmm. Down payment, whatever amount you pay, for hmm. example, for a three kilowatt system, hmm. we ask you to pay seventy eight thousand rupees down payment. Okay. That down payment will come back to you in the form of subsidy. Got right. it. So seventy-eight thousand mm. rupees you'll receive in thirty to forty-five, sixty days mm. in your account. Mm. So that is taken care of. Okay. Let's say in Maharashtra's example, let's take five years plan, mm -hmm. which is a zip plan. Mm -hmm. uh, you have three kilowatt system. You pay seventy-eight thousand rupees as a down payment to us. You get that from the government mm -hmm. in the form of subsidy. So Got that it. gets offset. Now EMIs. Mm -hmm. Whatever EMIs that you pay on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. those emis will be lesser than or equal to the savings through the solar system that you get on a monthly basis so okay. ultimately net net you are not paying out of your pocket in 3 uh, to 5 years your system will be free mm -hmm. and you can start reaping the benefit for next 15 to 20 years easily fantastic we are talking about a longer term you said about reaping the benefits for 15 to 20 years but when you said that i had again two more questions in my mind number 1 is what if i change the house I have installed solar in my roof on my rooftop, and maybe in just like three, four years, five years, whatever, I decide to change my house. What happens next? And number two, right now, for example, I don't own a four wheeler, which is an EV. Right. So if I were to <coughs> go ahead with a four wheeler EV in the next two, three, four years, then uh, will that be also charged? Any any devices? Let me. Uh, as a common man or a common person, I can say there is a misconception that only certain devices can be charged. 
through solar is that so or any sort of device can so i'll answer your second question first acha okay uh, yes on grid solar system can drive all your equipment okay. may it be your uh, high load air conditioner mm -hmm. washing machine your motors doesn't matter Right. Because as I mentioned earlier, on-grid system will synchronously deliver power to you. Mm -hmm. You don't need to store that power. You are connected with mm -hmm. grid mm -hmm. and solar and grid together are giving power, sourcing power to all your equipment. Correct. So, no need to worry on that front. Mm -hmm. On-grid system will drive all your high power equipments also into your home. Mm -hmm. So, this is one uh, clarification which I also wanted to give to the viewers. Okay. The second part, if you are going to change your house. Mm -hmm. Now, some of these parts, mm -hmm. the modules, the solar panels, the inverters, some of the cables are reusable. Okay. Uh, maybe some structures also can be ported from one place to another. Mm -hmm. There is, of course, shifting cost. Mm -hmm. There is a reinstallation cost if there are any damages during the transit. Correct. And warranties actually become some crucial because these are very delicate items. Mm -hmm. So, uh, typically your warranties will become void. Okay. Although your systems will keep working. Got but uh, yeah, those are the aspects that have to be taken care of. But it is doable. It's I doable. Mean, not a problem. You have to spare a little bit of amount to shifting. Correct, correct. Kya baat hai? Uh, I must say, Nikhil, that uh, I didn't realize how much time we were talking. I, I mean, I'm not sure what, what, 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, whatever is the scenario. <laughs> uh, I had a lot of questions which I had actually jotted down on my mobile. But your experience speaks so much volumes that, you know, I, I just kept on asking questions from my mind. You answered them so convincingly. And when, when you were answering, I actually was thinking of another question, which was actually giving, you know, I, that was popping into my mind based on your answer. So fantastic. I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed this uh, conversation and thanks Same a here. lot. Yeah, thank you. But I'm sure you have a very hectic schedule. You flew down from Mumbai today, right? Yes. Just, just for this interview. But thanks. Thanks a lot so much for sparing some time. Uh, any closing thoughts from your side? Right. Uh, there is this one good saying mm -hmm. uh, that we have not inherited this mother earth from our forefathers. It is actually borrowed from our children, mm -hmm. from our next generations. And it's our moral responsibility to conserve it, protect it and preserve it. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's our responsibility. That's driving Solar Square's mission. Uh, we are not only shaping the policy of India, we want to actually ensure that each and every homeowner that opts for solar, he takes a good conscious decision and uh, you can visit us on www.solarsquare.n to watch more about what are right choices that you need to take care of while going solar or you can contact us on 983000. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot once again, Kil, for joining in. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank, Thank you. you.